Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this green rectangle that is inscribed in this given triangle. And one more thing, this part of the triangle is seven units, whereas the other part over here on this side is 12. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is the very first step. Let's label the points. First, we want to take care of these vertices. This vertex I am going to call A. This vertex I am going to call B. This vertex C. And then this point I am going to call L. This point I am going to call M. And this point I am going to call N. And here is our much nicer looking graph. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this green rectangle. And here is the definition of a rectangle. A rectangle has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. And moreover, the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. So that means all these angles gonna be right angle, 90 degrees angle as you can see of this rectangle. And furthermore, if I call this side A, then this side is going to be A as well, same length, isn't it? And, and they are parallel as well. And likewise, this side, if I call side B, then this side is going to be B as well. So therefore, these angles are going to be right angle as well, 90 degrees. And in this next step, let's focus on this big triangle ABC. We know that this angle is 90 degrees at point C. Let me call this angle alpha with this point A and I'm going to call this angle beta on this side. And we know that the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees and since this angle is 90 degrees so that means alpha and beta angles are complementary. And here's the definition for complementary angles. Two angles are complementary when they add up to 90 degrees. And in this next step, let's focus on this smallest triangle ALM right up here. As we can see that this is also a right angle triangle, 90 degrees. And once again, this one of the angle is alpha. Then the complement of this angle alpha is, we know it is beta. So this got to be beta. So therefore, we conclude that triangle ABC and the triangle ALN are similar triangles according to this angle, angle, angle theorem. It states if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar. Now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle L b m as we can see that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta then this we need the complement of beta and we know that alpha and beta are complementary angle so this angle has got to be alpha so therefore we conclude that this triangle a b c and triangle LPM are similar triangles once again due to this angle 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 theorem and now once again let's focus on our similar triangles we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ALN and we also know that the triangle ABC is similar to 
triangle LBM as well. So therefore we conclude that this triangle ALN, this one is similar to triangle LBM. These two triangles are similar. And once again, the justification that these triangles are similar, on the left-hand side, we have the same triangle ABC. So that's the reason why on the right-hand side, they have got to be same. And here is our final step. We know that the triangle ALN and triangle LBM are similar triangles. That means we have a proportion of their sides. Let's look at this side A on this side and this 7 I can write as a as a ratio A divided by 7. Let's just put it equal to we want to make it a proportion. That means then this side this one over here is going to be 12 divided by we have to be very careful this side B so we can see that once again A over 7 equals to 12 over B now let's go ahead and cross multiply to remove these fractions so A times B equal to 7 times 12 is 84 and finally, let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area is always equal to A times B. That means this is going to be our area, which is 84 of this green rectangle. So thus the area turns out to be an 84 square unit. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.